Hey, what's up, guys? Camp and Rusher here. It's update day. The update's been announced. Avatar update, that is, for 4 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning. I'm just going to be saying tonight because I'm staying up. We'll have a video going live right away, but we already know so much. We've learned more in the past couple days, so stick around for this one. So the update tonight is going to reveal a lot about the Avatar update, but the event actually doesn't begin until Friday, April 12th. They usually do this with these big mid-season events, do the update. There's going to be a ton of other stuff besides Avatar. And then, yeah, the Battle Pass, all that stuff will start in a few days. But... We got a leak that there will be three new skins that we didn't know about available right away in tomorrow's item shop. So I guess it kind of does start tomorrow, uh, just not the Battle Pass event part. Fortnite sent out an email to content creators, and there's going to be three mysterious skins tomorrow. Each outfit's going to cost 2,000 V-Bucks. I believe the outfits do come with the back blings, though. Maybe the pickaxe, so there's a bundle there. Uh, of course, that is a big price, but it's a hyped up event, hyped up skins. I'm not surprised they're going with the old 2000 V-Bucks. Code the Camp and Rusher or type someone in there. I always say use one of the leakers from these videos. Fire Monkey, Shina, Hypex. Uh, obviously, the videos are impossible without them. Don't let it go to waste, though. Thanks for the love. So, the skins, we now know what those skins are because there was a teaser trailer posted. Here it is for you. It was quick, but we actually learned a lot from that little trailer. So it's Aang, of course. We've got Toph, Zuko, and Katara. So there's a couple things going on here. The three skins in the item shop are going to be Toph, Zuko, Katara. Aang is going to be in the Battle Pass. You're still going to have to pay for it, but it's going to be 1,000 V-Bucks for the paid-for premium track. There'll probably be about 11, 13 rewards, something like that. Uh, however, I thought that the Katara skin, we learned about the Katara skin a couple days ago, and that was kind of the only other skin we knew about. That was going to be our second premium reward right usually on that premium track in the in the mini pass the mini event pass there's two skins one right when you purchase and then one at the very end is like the top uh completion award and i think the ang style is going to be the the instant purchase reward so what are they going to put at the very end there that's kind of one of the last big things we need to learn as we go into the update tonight so uh, take your guesses down below especially avatar fans who are they missing who would you like to see they could also just do two versions of Aang. That's another popular thing that they do. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. And with these three skins, apparently it was pretty obvious. You guys know I've seen a little bit of Avatar, but not enough to know, uh, you know, to know the characters and then what that relates to. But sounds like this means we're going to be getting the airbending, the earthbending, the firebending mythics. Fortnite has been working on these all season. So unless they're scrapped, I don't think they are. It's going to be three more mythics. We'll have four total Avatar avatar mythics in game uh once the event begins that, that that might be on friday we might have to wait for that stuff till friday and then also from the trailer it seems that there's going to be some map changes as well because you can see a fire nation temple in the background and then you can see water and earth temples uh behind the other two characters so yeah update in the map as well and then for the final time the information about the elements pass it really hasn't changed in the last week i already mentioned most of the stuff but the appa glider is going to be a free war there is going to be a bunch of free rewards. Uh, you don't have to pay for that stuff. There's usually not a free skin. There could be this time. I'm not too sure. And the event does end on May 3rd. The skins have normal and Lego variants and the rest we've basically talked about. So very exciting. There's a lot of hype for this update. And yeah, it's going to be almost a month-long uh, mid-season event. Okay, there's more to this update, though, than just Avatar. We'll, of course, see other cosmetics, and there's the other game mode stuff. So a, a little separate, but moving into other game modes. Season 2 of Fortnite Festival ends in exactly two weeks from now. So this isn't a tonight's update thing, but it is important. Who do you think will be the next artist of the next season? And there's photos here from Shina of Billie Eilish and Taylor Swift. Those would obviously obviously be extremely hype and fun and lots of people would buy the skins so even if you don't play Fortnite festival I don't really uh, it is you know cool to look at because there is a, a festival pass skins that come with the game mode that you can use 
in the other game modes, right? So no indication really on where this is going. Billie Eilish does have an, uh, an announcement tomorrow. Is it related to Fortnite? Probably not, but just, just saying, right? People were noticing that she, she tweeted about an upcoming announcement. So take your guesses down below. Rocket Racing Season 1 is a big topic tomorrow. It should begin tomorrow after downtime. Uh, we've got the key art for Neon Lights is the name of this new season. And I really hope it goes well. I, I know the, the players, I don't know what they're expecting. The players are a lot lower than LEGO, of course. And... Uh, I just I just hope it doesn't keep dwindling as the seasons go on or, or the mode will end up dying. And it is one of my favorite modes. I have stopped playing it over the last couple months because it just got a little repetitive. So I'm hoping they do some good things to keep people engaged throughout the whole season. They've got a bunch of upcoming rocket racing maps that are leaked. I'm not going to read out every one in every description, but Slap Happy, Conduit, Jack Rabbit. And then there's like seven others or 10 others being worked on. So my point is with that, there's tons of new maps coming. I think that's one of the main ways you can keep people interested. And then they're still experimenting with this new death race game mode. It sounds like it'll be a very tough track with lots of obstacles and things that'll eliminate you. And if you get eliminated, you're just out of the race. So it's going to be more about precision. Speed, of course, matters. But yeah, you got to be precise and, and really not run into any obstacles. So I'm excited about a new game mode. Some of the other stuff more cars supported such as the werewolf from rocket league potentially the bugatti coming to the game and then two of the other biggest ones for me are rocket racing ranked progression being tweaked based on our feedback right now it's just too darn slow once you get to the higher ranks and not even that high like platinum you start going up like crawling up the ranks and it just seems like such a grind even if you're winning a lot you know you go up four or five percent so i yeah they have to adjust this and then new ranked rewards that'll get Get people playing as well if the ranked rewards are really cool okay so that's our rocket racing stuff a couple other things to expect in battle royale updates on the tactical ar unvault weapon attachments will be supported for this item we know it's coming it's just a matter of when epic games changing the bonus quest reward weekly requirements they've still granted the first page to everyone by the way that just happened Aphrodite's snapshot quest and then the usual stuff we can expect new encrypted files maybe some build up for season three new cosmetics new lego variants new quests and bug fixes so I've got you covered on all of that stuff and this is how we're gonna wrap up our video we know that Kratos is coming back to the item shop and a lot of people have been asking me when is it happening is it still happening yes it's still happening we just have no idea when reminder they are bringing kratos back there is no new kratos skin that we know about at this time maybe we get pleasantly surprised tonight with, with that but yeah we, we thought this would come a little bit sooner as we found out about this in our last update it's still it's still coming though so just wanted to pass that news along thanks for watching you guys we'll see you tonight subscribe touch that like button take care talk soon goodbye